We still have a few months left till the summer transfer window, but as you know, clubs have a thing for getting these masses sorted as quickly as possible. Some of the clubs have been eyeing a player for a number of years, and maybe this will be the summer where they'll definitely move for him, and then there's the case of players whose contracts with their current clubs expire in June. These players, in the current financial climate, will be the most wanted commodities in the transfer market. Quite a few good players will be free from any contractual obligations, which gives them the edge when it comes to choosing the right club with a financial benefit. So today, we've compiled a list of transfers that could happen this summer. Our list contains some of the moves which you already suspect could happen, but there might be a few surprises for sure. Before we get started, we want to share the sponsor of today's video. The OneFootball app is the ultimate football platform and is a must-have for every football fan, so that you can follow all of your favourite leagues, teams and players all the time right from your phone. You can be sure to turn on notifications for specific players, to be instantly alerted when they score a goal or when they're involved in other breaking news. It is the best and easiest way to stay up to date with everything football. Click the link in the description down below to download the app right now. You won't regret it. Okay, this particular player is definitely a very surprising name, given the fact that Chelsea only brought Lukaku back to Stamford Bridge last summer, and they paid quite a lot of money to sign him. However, the big Belgian hasn't exactly scored freely since returning to the Premier League, and is yet to reach double figures. Of course, we know that his ability to score goals will be tested to the limit in England, even though he was quite a sight to behold during his time in Italy with Internazionale. But even then, no one can disagree when we say that the former Everton man has been one of the most disappointing signings Chelsea have made in the Roman Abramovich era. Quite recently, Lukaku made a record by managing just seven touches in an entire game, which is something you would not expect from a player who should be performing at the peak of his powers. Chelsea brought Lukaku back because Timo Werner wasn't scoring freely enough for them, and the latter was brought because Alvaro Morata was also struggling with similar issues in front of goal. Perhaps it's Chelsea's fate to never find a good striker. We do suspect that the Blues would love to do a deal with any club that would want to sign Lukaku. The player himself misses Inter Milan, as he's already explained in great detail. Come on, you all saw the memes about it. And if the Serie A giants would have him back, Chelsea will listen for sure. Highly experienced German international Antonio Rudiger has become a mainstay of Chelsea's backline in recent times. The former Roma man is one of the first names in Thomas Tuchel's starting eleven, and for good reason. Chelsea hardly puts a foot wrong when Rudiger is marshalling the backline. However, the uncompromising centre-back has entered the last few months of his contract with the reigning European champs. At present, Rudiger is stalling on signing a new deal because Chelsea's current offer is far from the player's expectations. So, if there are no further developments in this case, the German is likely to leave London as a free agent, with reports claiming that Real Madrid are likely to snap him up for nothing and hand him a lucrative deal. Another player who's definitely going to leave his club after entering free agency is France international Ousmane Dembele. The winger arrived at Camp Nou in 2017 as the replacement for Neymar, and while he did show flashes of brilliance, regular injuries and a rather unprofessional attitude meant that he never realised his true potential. Barcelona have tried many times to cut a deal with the player's entourage, but his agents are holding out for a contract that's worthy of a player who will win the Ballon d'Or in the future. This is why the Blaugrana have taken the offer off the table, and it's likely that Dembele will join a new team in the summer. At present, Bayern Munich are hotly linked with a move, with the Bavarians also worried about Serge Gnabry's situation with the German wingers deal running out in 2023. PSG could also be an option, with the Liga and Giants becoming a team that's taken a liking to signing free agents. While he's been an influential figure behind Liverpool's rise to the top under Jurgen Klopp, we don't really know what Sadio Mane's future holds for him. The Senegal international was in fine form during the African Cup of Nations and helped his country to win the competition for the first time ever. With his contract set to expire in June 2023, there is constant talk about the player wanting to try something else this year. Arriving in Liverpool in 2016 from Southampton, Mane has been a key player for the Reds and has already helped them to Champions League and Premier League success. Reportedly, Real Madrid are interested in signing Mane but will have to pay €85 million Euros for his services. However, Los Blancos might not see Mane as a priority signing, which could pave the way for the likes of Barcelona and PSG to make their move. After enjoying a rather flamboyant winter transfer window, Juventus might be unable to stop Paolo Dybala from leaving Turin in the summer. 
The Bianconeri are reportedly on the verge of losing key player Paolo Dybala for free in June. The Argentine international has been in advanced discussions over a contract extension, but negotiations have dragged on so much that both sides have now grown weary. Reports claim that Inter Milan are actually monitoring the player's situation and will definitely be speaking with his agent. The reigning Italian champs are reportedly willing to meet the player's financial demands and could end up doing the same thing that they did when they signed Hakan Chanalolu as a free agent from AC Milan. However, also watch out for Tottenham, who have remained interested in signing a player they almost signed a couple of years ago. France international Paul Pogba's contract situation at Manchester United is quite well known. He's entered the last few months of his deal at Old Trafford and has never given any indication of whether he'd want to sign an extension. The general consensus is that the World Cup winner is likely to leave United when his deal expires. United have made multiple offers, but the Red Devils are no longer confident that they'll hold on to their academy product. A return to Juventus, where he enjoyed his best form, has been mooted for quite a while. But at the same time, the likes of Real Madrid, Barcelona and PSG remain interested. The player is reportedly open to signing for a different team in England, but his current wage demands could prove to be a stumbling block. It will be one of the attractions of the summer transfer window. Set to leave Borussia Dortmund this summer, Erling Haaland is yet to choose his future destination. According to reports, PSG have targeted the Norwegian if Kylian Mbappe leaves, but faced with enormous competition, sporting director Leonardo will have to convince the Dortmund striker. And money is one way to do that, especially given the demands the player and his entourage have. According to many rumours, the striker is going to ask for a big signing bonus as well as a mouth-watering salary. The transfer fee is not going to be a problem for any of the big clubs out there, but satisfying the demands of his agent Mino Raiola and his father Alf Inge Holland is another matter. The move is going to see both men get more millions into their accounts, so whichever club is willing to blow a hole in its budget will end up boasting the services of a player who might be very young but is already becoming one of the leading marksmen in the game today. Okay, so if you've been following us devoutly, you know that we've covered a lot of things about Kylian Mbappe in recent weeks. It's clear for everyone to see that the young forward is eager to test himself elsewhere after doing everything he can to help PSG dominate France and Europe. The youngster craves continental success and wants to win a few Ballon d'Or titles before it's too late. Real Madrid made an approach multiple times last summer and all offers were rejected by PSG only because Nasser Al-Khalifi felt disrespected. So Madrid decided to bide their time and wait for the player to become a free agent. And now we're approaching a time when Mbappe will be free from all contractual obligations at Parc des Princes. We all know that he wants to join Real Madrid, but PSG aren't going down without a fight. According to reports, the Parisians have offered Mbappe a million euros a week to sign a new deal. This is something that's irked Real Madrid, who have apparently informed the player that it's now or never for him. But we can say with quite some confidence that the World Cup winner is not going to sign a new deal with the runaway league leaders and is going to become a Madridista this summer.